Thank you, Marce. Thank you all. Good morning. I hope you are all doing good at home and safe. We are almost uh, finishing this uh, COVID situation, I hope. <laughs> so it is a great, great pleasure for us today to relaunch H-Point and also communicate our new offers, uh, policy and insights, bring your own storage to cover backup and protection and security as well. So today we are with Tarsila Rico. She's our distributor account manager and director for uh, Latin and Caribbean from F A Point. We also have Scott Sackett. Hi, Scott. Uh, he's a senior vice president in business development and channel from A Point. Uh, we also have Isabel Gallardo. Isabel is our ISB regional champion from Incomex Cloud. Um, I hear Cory online from A Point as well. Hi, Cory. And I am Marlene Novo. I am the Global Alliance Manager at Incomex Cloud. So we've been uh, recruiting and onboarding new solutions um, for the last two years, and we have a very huge and complete portfolio now so we can offer to our um, reseller ecosystem. So welcome everybody, and let's start this great presentation with Scott. Uh, hello, Scott. Hello. Hello. All right. So let me share my screen and Marlene, let me know when you can see that. Yes, I can see it. All right, wonderful. So today, of course, uh, we are going to talk a lot about uh, AvPoint and the products and technology that we offer uh, with our great partnership through Incomex. Um, my name is Scott Sackett. I am the Senior Vice President of Business Development and Distribution at AvPoint. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today and I, I thank you all for attending and spending some time to learn a little bit more about us. As I mentioned a moment ago, we're going to talk a lot about AvPoint and our technology. We're going to give you an introduction to who we are as a company for those who are not familiar with us. And then we're going to go one step deeper, talk about the products that we offer through the Incomex marketplace, our migration to M365 solution we call Fly, our cloud backup solution for M365 and Dynamics 365, our cloud management tool to help you uh, better manage administration, permission, securities um, uh, within uh, M365. And then lastly, we want to spend some time introducing everyone to our newest security tool policies and insights to allow you to really build a premium security service for uh, uh, applications and workloads like Teams and Groups and SharePoint. And then lastly, I'll summarize and synthesize everything to allow you to understand how to build a great MSP practice around those AvPoint services, and then we'll give some time for a Q&A. So who is AvPoint for those unfamiliar with us? We are a global company founded in 2001, headquartered out of Jersey City, where I, uh, I sit in New Jersey, um, with over 1,600 employees worldwide. Uh, we have a large customer set, many in all the different segments, enterprise, mid-market, SMB, and a very large partner community who leverage AvPoint technology. Over 7 million Microsoft users today get value out of Microsoft all around the world. We're a five-time Microsoft Partner of the Year that's global, and within countries, we have many different uh, Microsoft Partner of the Year distinctions as well. Uh, you may have heard about us a little bit recently in the news. Last November, we officially announced we are going public on the NASDAQ. Uh, so it's a very exciting time for AvPoint. We are definitely in the throes of an incredible Microsoft renaissance um, where things like Teams and the rest of M365 is creating an unbelievable work from home and productivity environment. Um, as we know, we are certainly, uh, you know, all going through a lot of different things with COVID and with the, uh, the pandemic. But the, the reality is that we are not going to revert back to the old ways of working. This new way of working, whether it's 80% from home, 20% in the office, or fully remote, uh, will not go away. And the Microsoft stack is enabling this new way of working, and AvPoint is helping them do what we say, complete the last mile problem. So our technology is going to help plug the gap for many people in this new way of working, and we're excited to continue to grow and prosper. Um, uh, the, the IPO, just to close the loop on that, the, the, the number one thing we talk about in our IPO and all the different documentation publicly is about how we invest in the channel, how we help our partners grow their business, um, and how we build, help them build a better commercial business and better technology for them. So it's an exciting time for us who focus on the channel and our big partner advocates, 
Um, so we're going to be able to continue to offer more and more technology, more and more support uh, from all different angles to help you folks grow your business. From a product stack, we look at our business really through what we call data lifecycle management for partners. So we start off on the data side, moving that data, of course, into the cloud, whether it's from on-premise or in the cloud from multiple repositories. Once you're there, we focus on protection, so cloud backup of that data. Once again, M365, Dynamics 365, we give you a granular backup and restore. We move on to the management side, focusing on permissions and security. And lastly, we focus on security and monitoring, making sure that data leakage, for example, you guys have a handle on and able to offer premium security service for your customers. We're gonna go deeper into each one of those uh, high level topics in a moment. So let's start where we all start on the cloud journey, which is our migration into M365. So at a high level, AvPoint and our product called Fly allows you to analyze, migrate that data, and then monitor that data throughout that migration phase. We're doing it from multiple uh, data sources into M365 as your destination. And even within M365, it could be from Teams, it could be to SharePoint, it could be to Exchange, right? So lots of different, um, uh, both Microsoft uh, sources as well as outside Microsoft sources. So whether it's a file share, and we all know we have an incredible amount of data sitting on file share still that we're trying to move over to some sort of centralized collaboration platform or uh, a vendor outside the Microsoft stack, Box or Dropbox, um, even Slack. We are seeing now that Slack is becoming part of Salesforce, there are more and more folks who wanna move off of that into uh, consolidating everything onto the Microsoft stack, right? Google is another one. Uh, we, still, we still see a tremendous amount of, of activity. Tenant to tenant, as organizations consolidate and merge, we see this uh, consolidation of Teams environments as well. So. AvPoint from one unified interface is going to allow you to move all of these different data sources into M365 in a very granular fashion and allow you to build all sorts of waves, filters, and so on to uh, manage that migration. So at a high level, like I mentioned, migrate multiple data sources from all of those different sources shown on the previous slide. Do a pre-migration analysis. So it's very important prior to moving your data that you actually know what it is you're moving, right? You would never move houses without doing that inventory first. So this is what we're gonna enable you to do once again within the, the uh, solution. And then lastly, tenant to tenant migration and restructuring for things like M&A activity, promote and demote uh, topologies. So really uh, robust, comprehensive migration to allow you as a partner, not just to do a one-time migration, but to continuously offer new services and new migration workloads to your customers. So it's not enough just to move email, which is many times the first stop, step in the journey. You need to ultimately continue to move data sources um, and get them fully consolidated onto the cloud. And that allows you to extend out your services to them. So now that your data is in the cloud, let's focus on how do we protect that data with our cloud backup solutions. So number one, the most common question is, why do we need a data protection solution at all? Doesn't, you know, by, by virtue of me putting my data in the cloud, doesn't it mean it's backed up? Well, the analysts, of course, have already spoken, and it's very clear that your data is not backed up because it is in the cloud, all right? There is a certain level of protection that the vendor provides, but it is not granular restore uh, and other aspects uh, that you would expect from their SLA. So let's talk about that SLA for a second. When it comes to M365, here's what Microsoft protects you on. Loss of service due to hardware or infrastructure fail, uh, failure, uh, natural disaster service loss, short-term user error with the recycling bin, short-term administrative. And we've underlined short-term, right? Because that's the reality. It's a very small period of time that you have to capture and understand and know about these problems before restoring. Ultimately, this falls on your customer and you as their trusted advisor. Loss of data due to someone leaving your organization and deactivating accounts, malicious insider and hacktivist activity, malware and ransomware, prolonged outages and long-term accidental deletion. We see this quite literally every single day. So make sure that your customers understand this and are educated when you try to tell them that they need a SaaS application backup. Because the reality is if they don't have that, it will eventually come to bite them at some point where they're going to really need to find their data. 
So what do we offer from an M365 cloud backup uh, perspective? Unlimited automated backup up to four times a day for both Dynamics and 365 and all of the applications that sit under there, be it Exchange or SharePoint or OneDrive, Project Planner groups, and of course, Teams. Delegated and granular restore in or out of place. Very important. Yes, it's great to be able to restore something quickly, but restoring an entire SharePoint site is very different than restoring an individual item, right, down to the document level and maintaining all of that metadata, permissions, security, and so on. Being able to move it out of place is important. Think about Exchange. You have an email you want to move to someone else's mailbox. Maybe that uh, person is no longer in the organization. To be able to move that entire mailbox to their replacement is a really simple use case that becomes really important if you don't have out of place restore. And then visibility and control over that protected content. I've heard many times over the years that many of the vendors out there don't give you granular reporting, don't enable you to see what's being backed up easily and quickly, don't see what's not being backed up, right? And so that's critical. You have to know if there's a failure and all products will have a, a failure at some point or another. You have to be alerted to that immediately. So notifications are really, really important. Same thing for a cloud backup for Dynamics, right? So different application, but same theme. Multiple times a day automated backup for your CRM, uh, CRM content, very granular. So you could think about entities and records, forms, and so on. Encrypted and secure data protection. Your CRM is the backbone in many cases of a sales organization. You need to make sure that that data is not lost. And lastly, one of the, the really unique aspects of our backup and recovery solutions is what we call AVA, which is our Teams chatbot to allow for end user restore. So for a partner to be able to offload a lot of that work to their end user and still offer an incredible service, a timely service, is a, a huge premium. So this chatbot, which you can subscribe to directly out of a Teams store, first of all, it enables adoption of Teams, but it allows your end user to search for content that they've lost and restored directly from that chatbot. By the way, it is free, even if you don't have AvPoint Cloud Backup. You can go to the Team Store, enable Ava, and this will, while you can't leverage all of the great functionality without Cloud Backup, you can certainly leverage this for them to enable, for example, restore from a recycle bin, right? So it can give you value even if you're not paying for it today. So I encourage everyone to have their customers um, who are using things like Teams or, or you know, just M365 in general, uh, be able to uh, go to the Team Store and download this. Next up, now that our data is on the cloud and it's protected, we as partners need to be able to manage that data, right? So there's all sorts of management challenges that come from Office 365 slash M365 um, and uh, being able to manage it in batch or, or scale. Right, We have many, many customers under our, our management, and Microsoft does not simply enable multi-tenancy management. It just doesn't, right? So when we're talking about management, we're thinking about things like administration and permissions and security, right? Those individual users, reports um, within all those different workloads. Imagine trying to manage each one of those workloads in silo, which is what you're all probably doing today. They have different administration consoles, different operational uh, needs. Cloud management's gonna allow you to do things like batch mode controls, right? So I wanna change security for all people who look like a certain profile. Reporting to be able to see all people under that profile, maybe farm wide on SharePoint, for example, or Teams. Highlight gaps in governance policies. Uh, those, those reportings are huge. We've seen partners be able to monetize those reports, sending them out on a monthly basis, for example, as a deliverable. Security management, easily manage permissions and sharing, and then content management and restructuring, which is an overlap feature from migration. So if you're leveraging our cloud management solution for a customer who's actually already on the cloud, but they need to maybe move around or change topology in something like SharePoint Online, our cloud management tool can actually help you there as well. And then lastly, where I wanna spend a little bit more time, I wanna talk about our newest security solution we call Policies and Insights, or PI for short. So the reality is that once again, teams specifically and M365 in general are really complex. It's a solution that's made up of many different disparate applications that provides incredible amounts of value, productivity, collaboration, and so on, right? That's why Microsoft is just frankly running away with the market. 
But for us as partners or for your customers and their admins, it's really, really difficult to manage. But it's also difficult from a security perspective as well. We're all seeing things like sprawl and, and immense amount of teams creation and groups creation, right? You know, so each one of these has their own kind of, you know, flavor, right? Teams, of course, is your teamwork hub and SharePoint is your content service, your Outlook calendar for scheduling planner, OneNote and so on. But all this productivity is great, but you have to meet security requirements. You know, so whether it's a, a big regulated company in a specific vertical that, you know, always has to be regulated or even smaller companies, we know today that data is incredibly important and that people are constantly trying to, um, you know, trying to hack in. But the reality is that most data leakage happens by accident. So it's easy, how easy it, is it to actually know what controls are relevant and apply and enforce them, right? So things like permissions report and security searches, sensitive data content, and where is it? How do I validate collaboration that my collaboration is actually secure, right? These are all great questions you should be posing to your customers to make sure that they understand the implications of rolling out a service like this. I want everyone to think for one second about their own usage of M365. How often do we see this individual pop up when we're sharing a link, right? I see it many different times a day, and I probably don't think that much of it. But let's go through it really quickly so you can understand all these different choices and the implications behind them. Anonymous links, usually disabled, but if it's not, it's got significant high risk. And that is for external users as well. Everyone except external, super common in migration, right? And it's really easy. Implicit permissions from big groups. Who are these distribution groups? Do you even know when you access this? And explicit people hiding in the wings, broken inheritance, right? All of these different choices, what are the chances that your users, your customers and their users actually understand the implications of each one of those settings? So let's start with a typical user scenario and see how this actually works in the real world. So we have an external user, we'll call him Roy, and he has access to a team, seems pretty straightforward. Within that team, there's a document that's been accessed 10 times in the past month. Great, they're collaborating together. And the team happens to contain sensitive information. That's pretty common. Now, in order for me to determine the risk of each one of these steps, I'm gonna actually need to run three different separate reports. For the user, I'm gonna have to run a permission report to see what he has access to. For the document, I need to run an audit report to see who has actually accessed it. And for the sensitive information, I need to run a DLP report. That's actually how I understood the scenario, but underneath the hood, that's incredibly difficult. No one is gonna run those reports for this use case, something so simple that happens every single day. But how many of our customers understand this? This is where our security solution policies and insights comes into play. We're gonna help you solve that specific problem, okay? So first, we're gonna allow you to find and prioritize sensitive data. We can aggregate access, activity data, uh, regulation and information types, we can define that with risk. We can prioritize to expose those issues and focus on what actually matters, all within the UI. Next, we're gonna enable you to monitor and fix. So you'll have security dashboards that show things like anonymous links and sensitive data that's been exposed you're gonna be able to drill down on those issues and see other potential issues. You can fix as you go. So you can edit those permissions in batch mode. Hey, I see a significant issue with an anonymous link. I can fix that right here in my UI immediately. And then lastly, we don't wanna just fix things ad hoc. We wanna prevent for the future. So we can enforce and prevent, for example, configuration strips with automated policies, alerts and rollbacks for unauthorized changes, improvements we can track over time to prove that your collaboration is secure. All of those are deliverables to enable you as the partner to create a premium security service. Because in the end, you're gonna to have to deliver something, right? But if you're able to educate your customers on the risk that's presented with these unbelievably great product productivity and collaboration tools, you're gonna to be a hero to them. So let's revisit the use case now with Pi and see where it came from to where it's going. 
So same use case. Roy, who's an external user, has access to the team. The document's still been accessed 10 times in the past month, and the team contains sensitive information. But now we know that Roy, the external user, has access to confidential information 10 times this past month, and we can restrict his access with a policy that blocks external users from the sensitive team. Big difference. Lastly, we'll have our, our, our MSP, Sarah, grant Roy access to the file because he needs it, but now we're gonna revert it and send Sarah notification as to why we're reverting the access because he is external and there is sensitive information in there. That is all automated with a policy. This is the difference between being reactive and proactive and ensuring your customers have a secure and safe collaborative environment and that they're not doing something by mistake. Because once again, the reality is that most data leakage comes not purposeful, not malicious, but by accident, because they just don't know. They didn't know there was sensitive data in that team. They didn't know they had a policy internally that said Roy, who's an external user, should not be getting access to this information. We wanna make sure we give you technology that enables you to do the right thing, all right? And make it easy to do the right thing. That's what Policies and Insights is all about. So in summary, we're gonna enable you to find and prioritize, monitor and fix, and enforce and prevent. All right, so if you look at that data lifecycle management, right, you have the ability to move data to the cloud, protect the data, do ongoing management, and secure and enforce policies for your collaboration and productivity tools in M365. It's really a very robust, comprehensive type of partner solution. Now, next I wanna finish up talking a little bit about partner profitability and what that means, okay? So it's great to have tools, and tools are certainly the backbone of a lot of the services you as partners offer, whether you're offering it as a managed service or you're reselling the technology. But tools don't necessarily equate to value, either sell to or sell through value. But what we've been able to accomplish here with the portfolio of services is not a one-time opportunistic sell, but an ongoing relationship you could build with Avpoint and your customer as their adoption to the cloud grows, you can become valuable at every significant stage. Because the reality is that M365 is just getting started. Many of your customers are still on exchange. Many of them are not even on the cloud yet. They're still figuring out how to move to the cloud. So we want to help enable you at every step of the way with our technology stack. So the chart you're looking at here is are the multiple solutions we just talked about and how they can create value for you as an MSP and ultimately value to your customer. So products like Fly, our migration tool, allows you, of course, have new revenue from not just offering migration, but the different data sources that migration, our migration tool can provide, right? Not just Exchange anymore, but all those different collaboration tools, both on-premise and in the cloud from other vendors. It's gonna reduce IT overhead, because as we know, you cannot really do migration with the native tools that uh, Microsoft offers you, or certainly you can't do it by hand, right? It's very cumbersome. And it's gonna enable end user adoption and productivity, of course, moving that data to the cloud in one consolidated environment. Multi-cloud backup, right? M365, Dynamics 365. We also have Salesforce backup, right? If someone's using a different CRM outside the Microsoft stack. Once again, new revenue. Even better, it's recurring revenue because you're not gonna stop leveraging a backup solution. So migration may be more opportunistic. This is recurring. It can give you service differentiation, okay? So yes, many people offer backup and it's a little bit commoditized, but this type of backup is very robust and comprehensive and granular. I, I would encourage people to do head-to-heads and bake-offs on our backup tool. I think you'll find that this is an incredibly useful solution for you. It's of course also gonna reduce IT overhead. The reality is if you lost a document without a backup tool, it's gone. You may try to find it or you may try to restore it, you're probably gonna have a challenging time unless it fell into that short-term um, recycle bin. On cloud management, 
following the theme of new revenue and reoccurring revenue, service differentiation, and reduced IT overhead. And lastly, Policies and Insights, our security solution, covers all of those, but in addition, it's going to help give you better adoption and productivity for your end users. Why? Because you're going to now feel safer and better about moving secure data into those workloads. And you're going to know that we actually have a solution to proactively prevent the problems that may be occurring. All right. In addition, of course, all of these allow you guys to build on top of it to create bigger and better services. So how are you going to actually make money through these types of solutions? So we want to move you from transactional all the way to a comprehensive managed services business. So of course you start at migration and migration is the most transactional product product. It's very opportunistic, right? Very easy. One workload to the cloud. But next you can start stacking on more and more solutions. So migration plus backup gives you a nice avenue for moving from transactional to a managed service. And many of our partners find backup is the easiest introduction to reoccurring revenue. Why? Because it's a very simple attach. Everybody needs it. It's not really something that can be debated. We've had situations in the past, for example, we've had managed services providers where a customer says, I don't want backup as part of my service. They'll make them sign a document that says, that's fine, but we're not responsible. Almost like insurance, right? Because it's that important when it comes to data integrity. But that's not it. You can stack on more. So plus my, from your migration plus your backup, you can also do your ongoing cloud management and deliver things like audit reports. So I want to know who did what where. I want to be able to do batch security and permissions, right? I want to be able to see the gaps in governance, all of that in your management solution. And then lastly, you build on your premium security solution. Now, you could even focus your premium security solution just on the upper segment of your market at the beginning, those who are highly regulated, those who are publicly traded, even the smaller folks, but are more concerned, more conservative about being in the cloud and leveraging a solution like uh, M365. So very much straightforward um, how you can gain value by adding on multiple services as your customers adopt. Because once again, they may not need all of those solutions right away, but as you have a relationship with Avpoint, you can continu continuously build on more and more technology and more and more services to move with your customer and grow as they adopt that technology. So that's the portfolio of services today that's on the Incomex marketplace. The good news is that Avpoint continues to invest significantly in more and more technology for you, the partner, to give you more opportunities to create value, to attach other sorts of professional services on top of it, and ultimately build a really great business around Avpoint technology and around the Microsoft stack. So um, with that, I will pause um, and open it up for some Q&A. Very good, Scott. I see we have a couple of questions in the chat uh, from Ayrton. Ayrton is our product manager, uh, pre-sales engineer um, from the Caribbean. He says, we definitely need more info on the cloud man management tool for MSPs or telco. Can they manage multiple tenants and run export the usage reports for these tenants? So the answer is yes. You can build those reports and export those reports. You can manage all of the tenants through our Elements MSP portal. So that is your centralized UI to manage all of your tenants for all of the cloud services, um, and then go into each one of those to run the report and export them. So yes, that is absolutely a use case. Very good, thank you. And also a single tenant that has a thousands of licenses that use by multiple separate entities say a group of companies or merge entities, can you use a cloud management tool to manage separate pools of licenses for each of these separate entities in the group of companies? So to be clear, we're not managing licenses, we're managing securities and permissions within those workloads. So 
Um, if your question is, can the product manage those different workloads for different organizations? Um, yes. Uh, I, I'd have to learn a little bit more about the use case and maybe even um, bring on one of our, our technical resources to, to learn or understand a little bit more because there may be some nuances with that use case. Um, I, I, whoever sent the question should definitely follow up with me afterwards um, and with Tarsila. Okay, very good. Thank you, Scott. All right, I don't see more questions on the chat. We can continue with Isabel Gallardo. Uh, she's going to share with us what we have in the marketplace. So go ahead, Isabel. Okay, I'm going to show you the, the plans we have right now in the marketplace because um, Scott uh, mentioned all of the characteristics we have about these plans, but it's very important to you to, to try to see directly in the marketplace what we have right now. So. In terms of cloud backup from Fpoint, we have these different plans, and one of the main characteristics that they that these plans have is cloud backup for Exchange, Microsoft 365, and Dynamics 365. Can what can we do with those plans? We can securely store 100% of your data, run automatic backups up to four times per day with a minimum configuration. We also can have a limited capacity and rotation for the life of your contract. Also, you can choose the option of storing backup data in your own storage because we have two plans um, in terms of BIOS. Bring your own storage is the plan we have right now in the marketplace. So you can have your own storage from different uh, sources. So in, in this case, we can also have cloud management for Microsoft 365 as a bonus. We also can have a delegated and granular restore in or out of place and also visibility and control over protected content. As Scott Sackett mentioned before, you have to consider that we we also have Ava's chatbot is our virtual assistant. And the most important thing to mention here is that we have a free 24 hour and 7 365 day technical support from directly from the vendor, from Fpoint. So those are the plans considering the backup and protection. Moving from the migration flight, the flight plans we have right now in the marketplace, we can see three different plans according to the, to the different um, needs of each uh, customer or reseller. We also, in these plans, we can have the, these specific characteristics. We can move data from on-premises, SharePoint, file shares, Exchange, Bog, Dropbox, Gmail, Google Drive, and Slack to O365 from one intuitive interface. That's very important to mention. We can schedule migrations to run on demand or on a schedule of your choosing. We can create mapping and filtering policies. We also can do pre-migration analysis and monitoring. We can run pre-migration scans and analysis for all data sources. We also can make intelligent migration and mapping decisions prior. It's very important. It's prior to moving your data to ensure a successful project. We can monitor your migration jobs via dashboard in real time and email notifications. And we can also we can do tenant to tenant migration and restructuring, make ongoing tenant to tenant migration easily. Simplify internal consolidations and restructuring of data for MI activity, promote, demote, and reconfigure advanced workload topologies. So these are the plans we have for fly for app point migration. So the most important here thing to, to see is the support we have is free 24 and seven days a week, 365 days support. Okay, moving from F point policies and insights, we we have these two plans in marketplace. So, what are the main characteristics these plans have? Because as you have to consider, these plans are new in our marketplace from Incomex. So, let's see we, what we have. You can find priori priorities. Sorry, you can aggregate access, sensitivity, and activity data across Microsoft 365. You can prioritize issues based on how you define risk aligned to relevant regulation and security policies. Insight expose your top concerns, whether over sharing anonymous links or shadow users. 
You also can monitor and fix. You have security dashboard, highlight risky anonymous links, overexposed sensitive content and more. You can drill down for deeper insight into now and potential issues. You can fix issues as you go. You can edit permissions and sharing settings in batch. And also you can enforce and prevent. You can prevent configuration drift with automatic policies. The policies trigger alerts or rollback of unauthorized changes and risky actions. You can track improvements over time to prove your collaboration is secure. Those are the plans we have in Marketplace related to policies and insight. And we invite you to try F-Point. Let's try F-Point. We have right now a trial license that is including a dedicated portal for MSPs, Cloud Backup and Cloud Management. All of this is part of F-Point Online Services and is, this is free for 30 days. With F-Point Online Services, it's a 100% SaaS software as a service platform hosted on Microsoft Azure. This helps to manage and protect your customer's Office 365 data. With F-Point Online Service, oh, okay, I replicated the same information. So you can have this information for free, this plan for free in our marketplace. So the invitation is for all of you to try F-Point and to see what we have right now. I don't know if you have any kind of questions because this is what we have right now in our marketplace. Very good, Isa. I don't see more questions in the chat. Oh, we have a question from Ayrton. Which subscription has the cloud management tool service? There should be a subscription that actually is called uh, cloud management for MSPs, I believe. Sure, and also some offerings from Point include the Element Portal, which is a uh, dashboard or a tool, so the partners can also see more information from the um, infrastructure from their customers. Very good. I don't see more questions in the chat, so I think uh, we can finish the, the session today. Scott, if you have any questions, uh, closing statements so we can all um, remind something important about eighth point. What would you say is the most important about the offering from eighth point? Yeah, um, I mean, there's a couple of things. So number one, um, there is a lot of technology here. So it would be great if you have questions, of course, to work with us to make sure we can uh, help you understand which technology will map to your use case best and help you, of course, build a business around the technology, right? Because it's not just as the products work, it's can we sell it, right? And can you sell it to your customers? That's why we have an incredible support infrastructure. Um, so 24-7, 365 support to our partners with any subscription service. Uh, we have sales support, uh, you know, like Tarsilla, who is able to help um, hold your hand and, and ensure that you understand how to actually sell the product, not just how to use the product. Um, marketing support services as well. Uh, so things like um, campaigns in a box to help you build out uh, your, your marketing streams. So we're all about enablement, right? So enabling you guys to be successful with the technology and to build a great commercial business around it. Um, and like I said earlier, you know, we have a lot of excitement at AvPoint around our, our, our coming IPO, and a lot of that investment and capital is going to be used um, to help you folks build a better business um, and to build up your revenue. So we're really excited about the upcoming year and working with everyone uh, to help accomplish this. So we appreciate your support. Awesome. Thank you, Scott, for all the support and the help. We definitely we see the the change and the new trend with 8 point. So we are here to help uh, all the partners and also our internal team to capitalize all the efforts that 8 point is putting in this offering. So thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time and let's continue the conversation to help you to create your offering with a point. And Incomex Cloud as well. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day.